Hi everybody, today we're going to make a simple overlay together. We're going to make a, an overlay that's for a 4x6 picture, like I often tend to do, and uh, one that has rounded corners, and then maybe we'll write something simple on it. Uh, I just want to show you how to make one, so you can make one for yourself if you have Photoshop. Alright, the first thing we're going to do is create a new document. So we go to Photo File, New, and you. I generally tend to do Landscape, so I'm going to pick 6x4 and I always do 300 resolution because if you're ever going to want to print it you want your resolution to be at least 300. Alright so that creates a new document and um, what I what I normally do is I create a new layer because the way we want a PNG is if we want it to be transparent and since we want it transparent um, we want to make it on a separate layer which is transparent because if you look at Photoshop this um, checkered background that you see right here means it's transparent so if I were to turn off the background layer by clicking on this little eye you see all the checkers on the screen right here that means it's a transparent layer and I like to keep the white one on just so I can see what I'm doing and then right before I save it I will turn off that layer uh, and just as a reminder if you don't know how to see your layers window you go to your window menu and you click on layers and it'll come back alright now we have two layers I'm on the second layer, the transparent layer, as you can see from the checkers. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to make one of those rounded corner rectangles. So what you want to do is hit your pen, freeform pen tool, that's what it's called. You click on that. If you click on it and hold it down, you'll see a whole bunch of other pen-like items that come up. There are different options of the pen tool, but you really just want the basic one, so you just need to click on it one time. And then up top, there's this section that appears. This is actually called the Options window. So you can turn it on and off by hitting Options. And then what you want is your second option. And if you hover over it, you'll see it says Paths. You want that turned on. And you want the Freeform Pen tool turned on, which should be by default. So the Paths one may not be, so just make sure you have that turned on. And then what you want to do is you want to pick what is probably most likely what you want so most closest to the shape you want so if you look up top here you'll see one of them says rounded rectangle tool that's what we want the rounded rectangle tool and then if you actually click on this little drop down menu it'll give you options on what sizes you want so I have mine as 575 to 375 because that's a little bit less than 4 inches and it's a little bit less than 6 inches since I want to put it inside the 4x6 picture I like them to be a little bit smaller so I set mine to fixed size 575 by 375 and then up here I have the option of doing a radius um, the higher your radius the more rounded your corners will be so I like my corners pretty rounded which is why I have mine at 80 you can experiment with this and try different options alright now I have it ready the way this thing works is as soon as I click it'll actually put the shape down so I'm gonna click somewhere around where I think the top left corner of the shape is see my crosshairs that's where it's gonna stick it and don't worry if you do it wrong, you can always move it, it's not, it's not a decided permanent thing. Alright, so I'm going to click, and one click, and here's the shape. And yes, I know this doesn't look anything like what you may want, so the, the trick here is that you hold your control key down, and see our, your mouse actually changes when you hold it down, I'm picking it up and down, up and down, just so you can see. And then you click, and if you hold your control down and you click at the same time, on the, on the PC it will be a right click, on the Mac you have to hold the control down and click anywhere inside the rectangle you'll see a little menu come up and one of them is called make selection which is what you want so you click on make selection and a menu comes up and asks you what you want your feather radius I just leave everything alone and I just call it new selection and I say ok and now it actually switches it to a selection much like any other selection on the, on the uh, when you're using Photoshop so now I can actually do whatever I want with this. I can make it whatever color I want. I can make it however wide or narrow I want. What I then do is I basically go up to the edit menu and I hit stroke. And then I say one pixel center and then I pick my color. In this case the color is it was set to white so I'm going to set it all the way to black. And I hit OK. And you can't tell but it's already finished. And the way you can sell tell that is by deselecting it so you can say select deselect okay maybe it didn't work let's try this again let's do stroke uh, so it's very very important that you check here that your preserved transparency is turned off because we really don't want it transparent because otherwise it will not 
actually stroke because that whole layer is transparent. All right, so then you want two pixels and you let's say center and you hit OK. And there it is. You can't really see it, but it's actually there. So if you go to your select menu and you do deselect, you'll see it. There it is. I made it two. You can make it one, which will make it thinner. You can make it three, which will make it thicker. It really depends what you like. And as you can tell, this is not right in the middle. So if you want to actually move it to the middle, you go to your move tool. And since it's on a layer by itself, you can actually move it. You hold it down and you move it around. And there's our little frame. And then if you want to write some text on it, you click on your text tool. Here we are. And um, I like one of the fonts I like. It's called Champagne. And Limousines. So I'm going to use that font right now. And I'm just going to click anywhere on the bottom and say, I love you madly. And then I'm going to change the text color, which is up here, to black. And maybe make it a little bit smaller, because this appears to be a little too big. And then I can hit my move tool again and move it to the side. And here you go. And in case you don't like all lowercase like I do, you can also go to the character window which you can choose by clicking here on window and character and then you can actually hit this little thing which makes it small caps so it's capitals but actually not large capitals but small capitals here you go and then the last step is for you to save this what you want to do is you want to turn off the background because now you want it actually transparent and then you go to your file save as and what you want to do is you want to save it as a PNG file. PNG, see it's right there. And you can call it I love you mad. PNG. And then I'm saving it. Um, you don't need to save it interlaced, that's for the internet. We don't need that, so you can just say none. And that's it, you're finished. So here I'll show you how you can now actually use it. I'm going to say don't save because I've already saved it as the PNG, so let's open the PNG document right here, I love you madly. See how it's transparent? And then I'm going to go ahead and open one of my pictures so I can show you how to put it on there. Sorry, my computer's a little slow. Here we go. Here's a photo of my son from today. And then what we do is we come up to the layer where it is, we make sure our move tool is excited selected and then we move it all the way down to where the photo is oh sorry my image is not correctly sized so let me go ahead and fix that it needs to be 300 because all the others are 300 and then I come here I'm going to zoom out just so you can see it ok now I have my image open and I have my Overlay. I'm going to come to my overlay layer and I'm going to hit the move tool and then I'm going to come down where my image is and make sure it sits right in a good spot. And since it's relatively hard to see because of the color, I probably would actually come in and go ahead and change the color on this to white. I would hit preserve transparency to make sure it's on and here you go. I love you, Mandy. If you have any questions, feel free to leave me a comment. I'll be happy to help you out. Hope you like this.